first of all, I'd like to just start off by covering the laws. In Sioux Falls, the fireworks, basically if there's any audible report, projectile, or launching component, those are illegal. And if you can think about that, it's mostly going to cover just about every firework that we have. Sprinklers, uh, smoke bombs, some snakes, those type of things are legal. But if it makes noise or shoots something, it's illegal. Uh, in the past, what we've done is, is try to focus on a public education and, and kind of let people know. And so we've gone out with the fireworks complaints and said, you know, this is not allowed. Um, and kind of give people warnings and, and just kind of let them know. The fireworks calls we've had over the last five years have dramatically increased. In 2010, we had three, and this is for the year, but most of these are around the fourth. But in 2010, we had 372 fireworks calls. Uh, and in 2015, we had 522 fireworks calls. Uh, these fireworks calls keep going up, even though we're telling people they're illegal, people continue to do what they want to do. So this year, we're going to have added enforcement. We're going to be out there probably more than in the past. And if officers see people shooting off fireworks, they're going to be writing tickets. Um, they may give warnings along with that and, and let them know, but there will be some tickets that are written. And in the past few years, the past three years, we've had just a handful of tickets each year that have written. And so um, obviously, people are doing what they want to do and not following the law. So we're going to try to uh, have some more enforcement with this and hopefully we'll get some compliance and we're not making a big secret about this we want everybody to know ahead of time we're doing this so they know and if they're going to shoot off fireworks they have to do it in a place where they're allowed to do it Sioux Falls they're not allowed to shoot off those particular fireworks uh, let's see so then also on the 4th of July we're going to have officers out and then riding with them will be some uh, officers from I'm sorry some firefighters I'll get that right Dean um, on the 4th of July we'll have some firefighters that are riding with police officers um, we're going to partner together and really that's twofold the officers will handle the enforcement part the firefighters will be able to kind of promote the safety let people know if they're doing things right or wrong uh, kind of give them some tips like that and again the the whole goal of this is to get voluntary compliance from people so we're not going to have these overwhelming number of fireworks calls just to let people know if you get a ticket or maybe they're wondering what that amount would be if you're lighting off fireworks that ticket is ninety five dollars if you're littering uh, sorry littering I'll spit this out uh, the littering ticket is hundred and seventy dollars and throwing burning material from a motor vehicle which would be some fireworks from a motor vehicle, that's a $170 ticket as well. So I think when you think of, of Independence Day celebrations, of course, the use of fireworks is synonymous with those celebrations. So if you are going to choose to celebrate and discharge um, fireworks, you know, first of all, we want everybody, again, to remember, know your local laws, like Sam just explained to you, and certainly obey them. Um, and then celebrate sa safely. You know, make a choice to keep yourself and your family safe as you're discharging those fireworks. And we know fireworks can cause injuries. They cause burns. They also can cause um, lacerations. They can cause bruising. They can cause a lot of eye injuries. And if we look at what happens nationwide as far as hospital visits um, with um, relation to fireworks-related injuries, we see an average of 230 people each day going to the emergency room with fireworks related injuries um, and the weeks that surround the 4th of July. So there are a lot of injuries that occur um, related to discharging fireworks. Um, about 36% of those visits um, are due to injuries that involve hands and fingers. About 26% of those injuries are due to, uh, visits are due to injuries that involve your um, arms, your legs, and the trunk of your body. And like 19% of those injuries, those visits are related to eye injuries. Um, so f fireworks can can really cause some damage. Um, if we look at who's getting injured, um, st statistically, um, men are three times more likely to be injured by fireworks, of course, than women. Um, and uh, about 50% of the people that are injured are under the age of 20. So it's young men that are getting injured by, by discharging fireworks. And the majority of the injuries are related to the use of sparklers, bottle rockets, and firecrackers. So, um, you know, we just want to really encourage everybody to practice safety. We don't want people's celebrations to have to end abruptly because someone was injured. And then, I guess because I come out of the health department, I feel like I'd be remiss if I didn't 
um, say, you know, when you think about Fourth of July celebrations, you think about being outdoors all day. So do what you need to do to stay healthy. You know, think about heat-related injuries. Make sure you stay hydrated. Drink a lot of water. And give yourself that chance to have a break from the sun. Find a shady tree to sit under. Go indoors. Just take a break from the heat. Um, think about your food safety if you're having a picnic. Make sure that your hot foods stay hot and your cold foods stay cold. And then if you are going to be outside, of course, make sure you're wearing sunscreen. And then to avoid being bit by mosquitoes, we'd like to see you using bug spray. In the past, we know that everybody likes to celebrate the 4th of July and they like to light off fireworks, but it's really gotten out of control. And being nice hasn't worked. Um, you know, people probably know that officers are going to come out and say, hey, you're not supposed to do this, and they go, okay, and as soon as the officer leaves, they probably start right back up again. Um, that hasn't worked. You know, we've tried that, so we're going to take a, maybe a firmer stance. Um, I don't know if hard line is necessarily a word because there are, is some discretion that's involved there with the officers, but um, if you're lighting off fireworks, I'd almost expect a ticket this year. Um, we're, gonna, we're not going to put up with it. I mean, that's just what it's coming down to.